living in fear of the machines that now walk the earth. Yo, what up guys? It is Jiggles493 here with another Robocraft tutorial. And this week, we're doing the legendary Osprey gunship. Um, this is a massive machine in real life. If you've never seen one, you've definitely got to see it. But as you can see, I've retrofitted it with some plasma cannons. I've got tier 6 and tier 7 repping on there. And I'm running the tier 6 blue armor. Um, I'm going to be definitely showing you how to make this thing. But as you can see, it's a bit incomplete. But before we get into that, we need to see what the real thing looks like. So I've got a clip here of an Osprey gunship taking off. Um, well, this isn't a gunship. This is the cargo carrier. They, that's basically their main use, is evacs, extractions, uh, dropping people off, picking shit up. Um, they are a very versatile machine. Um, as you can see, it's taking off. The propellers are at an angle. That's a, basically just as after its hover mode, or its taxi mode. And now they're at a forward-facing, that's the plane mode. Like, these things, it just flips and then helicopter lands in the middle of Afghan or wherever they want to drop them off. But that's it. Um, now we're going to get into the build of this. Now, for the build, you're going to need a shitload of cubes and a lot of tech, um, a lot of coins, if you want to get it to the armament that it's at. So, I suggest getting some serious grinding going and getting a lot of coins, but if you're going to be using low tier armor, it doesn't really matter that much. But, you do need to be... Um, Tier 6 or Tier 5 to get the helicopter rotors, which um, is in the new update, which I'm loving at the moment. I love flying this thing. It is a beast. Um, best thing I've built in a while. So, if you do like the build, um, feel free to go over to the next video. Link is in the description of the uh, my challenge. I did a challenge in it. Um, it did pretty well. I got shot down, but a medic revived me. And I did notice a few of the weak points, but you'll see that in that video. Alright, so let's get into the build. Alright guys, so we're going to get into this build. First off, you're going to need a center block just to get that um that whole thing off the ground. And you're going to need all those cubes. By pressing X, you can hit the split screen, uh, the split cube, and that'll show later. What you want to do, you want to go 11 cubes long, just like that. Now pressing X right now, you'll be able to get this, the double cube. Uh, double it. It does it on both sides, and it helps a lot out. But you're going to want the angled... Uh, cube for this one This is just getting the whole hull of the buddy ready to go um, It's this is a long video, but trust me it is well worth the payoff now, I'm just going to give you a little look at it right now And we're going to do it nice and slow just so everyone can keep up and watch the video and not have to pause and all that other crap Because I see a lot of videos you have to do that Now we want this um weirdly angled one just to fill those gaps in to make it more aerodynamic Then we're going to get the um we're going to get normal cubes, and we're just going to follow it all the way down, leaving one block of space at the front. Now you should be put it, yep, yeah, there it is. Put a block there. Now you want to get this weird faced one, and put it in like that, and get those other ones, just like that. Now as you can see, it's starting to get a bit of a shape going, a bit of aerodynamics, it's starting to look good. Trust me, when it is finished, this thing is worth it. It is going to be worth the video, it's going to be worth listening to me jibber on about how to build it. Now we're going to be making the cockpit now. It's just the same way, getting the angled uh, cubes and placing them in. Now we're going to get the um, cube and go two out. Just like that. And then we're going to get the um, angled cube and go like that. And then with those other ones. Just make the cockpit nice and aerodynamic in keeping with the streamline effect that it has going on with the cone. <laughs> now we're just going to box off the cockpit and have another little uh, glass at the top of the roof there. I don't know why, but it just looks good. Alright, so now we're going to start building the body up a bit more. So we're going to go all the way along with the regular cubes. Put one or two in there. And that fills it right up, nice and easy. Now we're going to get the triangle, no, the right angle, and go along. We're only going to go along two, then we're going to grab this one, place him there. Wait, no, I've 
I think I've made a mistake here. No, I haven't. It's alright. We're going to replace it with regular cubes, and we're going to go back to that one and finish off the back here like that. This is all nice and simple. As you can see, you're starting to get the shape. Now we're going to extend the body out two cubes. And just a reminder, I'm using the white cubes because they're cheap. You don't have to use white cubes, you can use whatever ones you want. If you've got the money, by all means, use whatever ones. We're going to fill this gap in, make it more streamlined, flush it all out. We're going to get this one. We're going to place it in like that. But we're going to put it in upside down. Sometimes Robocraft can be a bit fidgety with how you place stuff. Now what we do here, we get these um, the angled ones. We just slot them in like that, and this is that's building onto the tail, where the um, well, this is more the rear section of the entire craft. with the angled ones. Now I found this bit was a bit stuffy and I thought I was using the cube I was supposed to use but I did make the mistake I was supposed to use the um, the cube that's sliced the one that's below where my crosshair is right now. I didn't realize this because just the way I had it pictured in my head didn't wasn't quite sitting right. So I try to I try to make it work, but it just doesn't. So just ignore this step I'm doing right here. Then I look at it and I'm like, no, that's not right. And then there I get it there. So now start, it looks that looks a lot better. We're just filling in here just to give it that bit more structural integrity. So there's no hollows. So it keeps it all together. Starting to take shape. As you can see, you've, you've got your pretty basic looking part of it. We just got to basically just got to add wings and a tail, and then we're done. But this does get a little fidgety towards the end. You do have to sort of make sure you know what pieces are going where and how everything is getting put together. My whole goal of this, because the Osprey is a very round um, craft, so I'm trying to get like all the smooth edges. I'm trying to trying to get that look for it. It was very difficult to try and design, but it's well worth it. Very useful in battle. So now we're going to be putting on the tail here, or parts of the tail. Let me get this streamlined first. Just going to fill that in with this little fella here. And it's just the small things that just get to whole look for your, your machines. Like they can be a beast, but if they look like shit, there's no real point. Now what you want to do here, you want to go nine out. That's perfect width out. You can add your next tier up um, propellers, uh, blades, and not have to worry about the spacing because the spacing is fine for that second tier. Now we're going to be making those uh, the pylons that the um, the blades sit on, and that the guns hang out from underneath. Now I do make a mistake here. Don't hold this against me. You'll see the mistake. See how I'm putting it still on the wing? It has to overhang the wing. Which I do find out in a second when I look at it and I'm like, no, that's not right. Yeah, there it is. There's my sudden realization. Nope. There we go. Now I work it out. I apologize for the mistakes I make in the video. Um, it's really hard to try and get everything real perfect when you're recording without having to start over again, and that's just not fun. Yep, see, as you can see, it's just come out a lot nicer. 
it just looks a lot better when if it's just overhanging that little bit there. Now we're going to add these angled ones in and it's going to like round it off, make it still give that round look to it and ensure that we're not making it look like a flooring box. We want it to look like the actual, the real deal. And just remember having that X key press does mirror everything, so what side, the thing you do to one side, it does it to the other side. So if you don't have that enabled by now, you've probably realised that it's a lot harder. Now we're just making that bait, the bottom cone where that uh, plasma gun will sit. We're just rounding it off, making it nice and pretty like. Those plasma guns will sit under there and you can fit one up under the wing, if you wish. Now she's starting to, it's starting to come through and it's starting to look really good. Now we're going to be to building where the um, where the actual blade sits, where the blades just hang out up there. But you've got to be very careful with these because they are a big target. So you've got to snug it, try and snug it in a bit, make it get some armor around it. But as you tear up and as you get through the higher tiers, you will find that. Um, the bigger blades will be a bit more resilient to fire, but nothing's indestructible. Ah, I ran out of cubes here, and that just shows how much cubes you actually do use. I started off with 300 of the white blocks, and now we're down to like 100 and something, and I'm out of the white angled ones. Now what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to get the perfect top cone look for the the machine. And then what I've what I've worked out is I've got to have it spot on, otherwise it just doesn't look right. And what I realize, what I've worked out here is that you can put it in between those two there, as you'll see in the next few seconds. See, like that, and that, that keeps that cube nice and snugged in, but you still your blades are a target, but you just have something less for the other team to be shooting at. Alright, and that brings that, that's the whole side of it all done the wing and main area, now we're going to get to the tail. The tail's really for aesthetics, you can leave it as is right now. It still flies perfectly. But um, I like to add the tail on there because you can put other things on, you can put your um, your radar, your jammer, and whatnot on there. Now you're going to just be extending the tail about two cubes. Then we're going to get an angled one and put it up in there. Just to keep it nice and nice and symmetrical and nice and um, even and very streamlined and aerodynamic. See, just like that. And then we're going to extend the wing out a few cubes. It doesn't really matter how far you go out. See, I went. I went four cubes out because it just looked right. That right is just kept it in, um, kept it in symmetry with everything. Didn't wasn't too long to overshadow the wing, and wasn't too small, so it looked ridiculous. But there you have it. That's it done. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions? Please leave a comment in the in the comments box. And um, yeah, well, I have do have a video in the description next uh, in the description showing you how I pilot it and how it goes and all that other stuff so if you are curious if you want something built or designed for you please message me on my Twitter account that's in the description as well or just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you alright jiggles out Just like a Sunday